Welcome your majesty to fanfooty.co.uk TV. We are honored to have you here for the Super Coach Ashes vs. 2 Series.net challenge. And hello to you Shlucky, my loyal disciple. Fuck off Lizzie, I'm South Australian. We are a convict-free colony. You're a colony that I own you prisoner of Mother England. Yes, that's right. I own you Shlucky, Dingo, Shagging, Peasant and every one of the 2 Series.net convicts. So tell me Lizzie, do you follow the GFL? Yes I do I follow that team that looks like some fat convict pissed on their top then proceeded to wipe his ass with it. Like my loyal servant heavy man. Why the fuck he wouldn't wipe his ass first then piss on it is proof he's from Sunnyvale? Isn't Sunnyvale in Sydney Lizzie? Sorry I meant sunshine. So who have you got representing the motherland in the ashes challenge Lizzie? Considering I own all of you I really couldn't give a fuck as long as that smug cunt Yanni Ivanovich doesn't win I'll be happy. So you'd be happy if I won? I'd be happy for you and all the other three foot six dwarf here and bread cube body dwelling grub eaters that you represent Shlucky. Imagine you winning for fuck's sake that's definitely one for the little people. Speaking of midgets fan footy UK have the feistiest midget you'd ever see. We man the poisoned wolf will take a power up beating in the head to head clashes. For fuck's sake Shlucky so I got a grub eater from north of the dingo fence and a poisoned wolf that looks like a homeless piss tamed trampy cunt. Marvelous. So who else is in your team Shlucky? I suppose Yanni Ivanovich with his stupidly named team Mind of a Toy will be fronting up again? Yep and once again he'll be leading the charge. He loves his super coach the pommy Russian pirate cunt. Who else you got that sick cunt playing? Which one? The perverted cunt whose homepage is Sickopedia. Vidaloj the Sultan of Smuttle that killed it and swinger from the back of the park hide bogs. I meant the Sultan but tell me more of this prisoner of mine that lives in Scotland. Schlarty was absent without leave last season but has been competitive in previous Ashes leagues over the years. He's also been total shit in the seasons where there's been a soccer World Cup as he prefers to follow the soccer when it's on. Soccer? What's the soccer? It's the football you thick Aussie cunt. Seriously sometimes I wonder if I still own your Aussies and not America. As you seem to be their bitches. Well Lizzie truth be told you used to own us but we're now owned by the Chinese. Chinky cunts for fuck's sake you'll be eating Australian grown food. Farmed by Chinese who will have effluent irrigating the produce. It will then be sent over to China to be processed. Washed in storage water then shipped back to you and labeled produce of Australia. Looks like you're well and truly fucked then. Okay okay stop digressing. Like I was saying Shlarty the kilted and swinger can definitely hold his own and super coaches can the Sultan of Smut Beetleoge. Both could easily finish 1-2 in the league. The special one give will put in a 72 hour shift in the 48 hours before lockout. He will have spreadsheets left right and center with all sorts of shit like buy strategies and price movers. Yes Kev takes all his fantasy sports seriously. Too seriously. Lizzie, when you're playing in a league with Schlarty and Beetleoj, you can never be too serious. To be fair, it sounds like your fan footy is more feral than too serious.net. It is, we got Mank Da Vinci, the Mank Union finger painter. He's okay at this super coach, Lizzie. Don't worry about that. Then we have ATX1303. Who? ATX1303, okay, ATX. For fuck's sake, Schlucky, you gibberish cunt, you sound like you come from my northern prison. Where? Scotland? No, ATX is the next competitor. He's hit and miss but with some luck he's switched on this year and if he is he'll be sending a few of the convicts crying home to their mummy. Who is this avid he sounds like a gun? Yes a fucking pop gun Lizzie. Hopefully he has his best season yet. He's been playing nearly seven years now yet is still a fair way off the pace. If you finish below him you can consider yourself absolutely fucking useless. So where are all these cunts from Schlucky? They sound like they come from all over the place. Your loyal captain Lizzie is Yanni fucking Anovich. He lives on Goat Island next to Sandbanks and Dorset. He's a pommy Russian cunt. Schlarty is from the back of Park Hyde Boggs. Beetleoge has been living in California for the past 15 or so years. Poor cunt besides being Victorian we also barracks for Richmond. I saw a documentary on them just last week, simply named. Ninth. 8 1303 is a Melbourneite whilst the special one is a resident of London from what I gather as he goes for those cunts Chelsea. Fuck me Schlucky that's quite a spread. So you're from Cooba Paddy in South Australia a few miles outside the dingo fence? Yeah, on the outskirts of town, I sleep with the dingoes and eat grubs. Our final challenger hails from England North. He is the only English-speaking cunt in his street. Some say the only one in his village. He goes by the name of Abbott and has an IQ of 75. Sounds like a winner. Now how about these convicts? I suppose they are all from Victoria. Well, straight off the top, King Convict Wales is from the backwaters of Victoria. He lives in a creek and follows the most corrupt club you'd ever find. Celery cap cheats and now drug cheats, the peptides. 
He's pretty confident they'll win, but I can assure you Lizzie was shorty back team Murad has never been higher since the glory days of the Spuds. What Spuds? Yanni's gardener Bridgie and Sligo Donkey. They were gunners, but Binky scared them away. Soft cocks. Well, Bridgie did play last year and coaches gay fell in Leprechaun Land. Mind you, on last year's effort, I hope he's a better gay bell coach than super coach as even Everett finished above him. Okay, so King Convict Wales leads the charge. Who else is representing two serious dot net schlucky fat four fingered cunt? Heavy man. Your fellow point we supporter. He's the fat cunt who ate all the pies. In a parallel universe, he's Monty with a zero. Monty with a zero. He's probably a nice bloke. You're a harsh man, Schlucky. Who are you to judge? Listen, Lizzie, as long as I'm making the video, I'll do whatever I want. Up there to sail, in there and fight. Out there and at them. Show them your might. Yanni is fucking right. You really are a cunt, Schlucky cock. Next up we have Ned Flanders Steam Shovels. What a silly name, he'll be shoveling shit up hell to make the 8. Ned Flanders is a Richmond and an Arsenal fan, so expect him to show promise and then choke come season's end. The inbred convict Jibbo follows two clubs with hearts the size of peas. He did live in the UK for five years so he's probably got show bag teeth and scurvy too. Who else have my bitches from down under got schlucky you for quit short of a ten a cunt? Well Lizzie sent out messages for the convicts to give me a little bit of info about themselves but besides Walesy and Flanders the rest of the convicts never replied. All I know is that according to Yanni Fukinginovich, convict Josh E.C. lives in a bin outside Cuba Petty. Big test icicle sounds like a cunt, he probably hails from Melbourne. Then is Grant who probably sleeps under the windy hell scoreboard and is a cunt, as is Corey whose Leviathan's probably is still at home with his mum in sunshine just across the road from Richard, manager of Alias Quiet. So basically every single one of them is a feral scuppy the bush kangaroo cunt? Yes, Lizzie but you'd expect that from a bunch of convicts. My bitches, 